Ellie. Find the pocket, and when you're at full power, come back for me. Go! Oh, not the pocket I wanted. But you'll do for now, Penelope. You'll be excellent bait. <laughs> Can't risk it fritzing again until we've refueled the Pockite. Yeah, going big in a little space is worse than realizing you've outgrown your favorite flats. <laughs> what now? We're too big to go in, so we must be patient until they come out. Too bad we aren't Galushki. He's the perfect size. I wish I were a rat. Galushki! I knew I loved this rat. All right, rat face, get in there and find Polly Pocket. Like you're being watched. Nine out of ten ghost encounters are preceded by that feeling. Look! Is it a ghost? Three identical doors. It's like choosing between Fire Engine Red, Scarlet Scandal, or Crimson Calamity Nail Polish. Nearly impossible. So, my policy with polish, just go for the middle. No! Don't you see, Lila? It's a test. Prudence wanted only the locket bearer to get to the pockite. Hear that? I bet it's a ghost! Monster! Ah! This one! It looks like the gear's inside the locket! Come on! Adventurer Ruin Quest. I've watched it at least ten times. Prudence must have booby trapped this whole place. Thanks, Shawnee. Hmm. I think. Just as I suspected, the octagon cobblestones are triggers. Just avoid them. Easy. Totes easy. As long as you go first. Prudence was my kind of girl. I knew I didn't like that rat. You hurt his feelings. Apologize. Oh. Hmm. Any thoughts on what number Prudence might have used as the code? If it were me, I'd go with something mathematically meaningful, like pi. 3.14159... Ay, ay, ay. Whenever I need a password, I use my birthday. Ah, uh, Lila, you have no sense of cybersecurity. That's it. Offs, who wouldn't use my birthday? Not yours. Prudence's. It's on the family tree. May 8th, 1624. Prudence made all this stuff. Why not? She's related to you. You're basically twinsies. <gasps> Look how cute! She even made a tiny replica of her pirate ship. Wait, you don't think that with an unlimited supply of pockite and deep knowledge of the locket, this could be the real pirate ship? Maybe Prudence knew how to go super small. I'd say that's inconceivable, but I'm starting to conceive it. Super tiny possibilities! Huh. The only thing I don't see in here is the pocket mine. Everything's been a puzzle to get here. 
There must be another puzzle. Bookshelves are the number one place for secret doors. If we pull out the right book... I've never said this about anything before, but it's so pretty! Please work. the linen cotton blend, the hand stitching, and the cut of the tunic, plus the super retro ivory skull detailing on the strap, I'd say she's been in here since at least the mid-17th century. It's like that yeti they found trapped in ice. Except for the fashion thing. When they thawed the ice, the yeti was still alive. What if she's still alive? We have to get her out of there. Holly, it's highly unlikely. If a little pockite can shrink a person, maybe being stuck in a lot of pockite can keep a person alive. She... She's moving! Oh, I wish I were filming this. <gasps> Ahoy, strangers! Huh. Your garments be mighty odd. Uh, well, I never... <laughs> Hello. I bet you're very confused. <gasps> Whoa! Go big! I guess she's not that confused. Feels so good to stretch me legs. Cover for me. Hi, I'm Lila. And who might you be? On the seas, they called me Gruesome Grunwalda. Genie, initiate Sticky Sneaks. Sticky Sneaks on, Polly. You've been in stasis for over 300 years? No, you don't look a day over 299. Tell me, what is your skin regimen? Is that how long it's been? Over 300 years since I followed Prudence. So you knew Prudence? Aye. We sailed the seas together, and she was always meddling with a magic locket, keeping the power all to herself. It wasn't that hard to find Prudence's pockite stash. She thought that keeping it secret was protecting it, but her being alone made her an easy target. <laughs> no, Grunwalda! The pockite isn't stable! My precious pockite! Don't touch it! Please! <laughs> Little sweet as sarsaparilla Prudence must have excavated the cave. But she never found me. Ye <gasps> <gasps> be a feisty little scallywag, just like Prudence. That's because I am like her. I'm a pocket too. Then you'll pay Prudence's debt. Okay, but let them go. This is between you and the pockets. Ah, fine. Go back to your mother's. But I'm a pocket, too! So am I! Samesies! The feisty one was trying to trick me, was she? Genie, autopilot mod quad to me and initiate protocol annoying fly. Sure thing, Polly. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
What is that? Where did it come from? Oh, that's right. I guess you've never seen a Mod Quad before. On my command, the Mod Quad will, um, shoot poison darts at your nose. <laughs> yeah, and it'll give you uh, chronic toe blisters. And a case of never-ending hiccups. And make your cuticles look terrible. Mod Quad, attack her. Oh, <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> to me at once, ya horn swoggler! Ah! We have to help Polly! Right after we help ourselves not become human pin cushions! Ah! Ah! Libraries are boring! What are you supposed to do? Use your imagination and get lost in a book? <laughs> Granddaughters, right? Hey! Ah! <sighs> <sighs> I was nearly a poly kebab. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> See you later, Grunwalda! Get back here, you lily-livered lumpkins! <laughs> I gotcha! I gotcha! Breaking my fall. <laughs> it's kind of fun being an honorary pocket. You don't need to be pockets. You're the best friends in the world. You can't best me. They're too tiny. Guess you've been living in a rock for a few centuries and haven't heard the news. Tiny is mighty. Blast that bilge rat! That's the final chapter of Grandma Pocket. Get it? <laughs> I am so gonna need a massage after this. We have to get out of here before we can't. But I can't let all of Prudence's stuff get buried in here.
<laughs> Perfect! <laughs> Prepare to be pint-sized, Littleton. <laughs> I can't wait to watch it. Can we make popcorn? No, Gwen. We'll be in my shrink-proof fallout shelter, where we'll hide out for the next three months until it's safe to be in Littleton again. Nobody's shrinking Griselle Grande, not even Griselle Grande. But our little frenemies will have a front row view. <laughs> Come on, Gwen. We have two minutes till this little eyes is Littleton. Making the same mistake that Prudence made. I trust you to help. Any ideas? <sighs> I think we can break it if we had enough force. How do we get enough force? From this angle, falling to the ground would create maximum impact. Uh, falling from way up here was not at the top of my list. If this granny can do it, you can do it. We're in this together. We do. Everyone, on the count of three. One, two, three! Should I go for it? Yes! Reclaim your accessory! Polly. Yes! Yay! <laughs> uh, I don't want to rain on anyone's victory parade, but this thing's still going. Griselle's machine is drawing the power of the pocket, but it doesn't need the locket for its ultimate shrink ability. We have to turn it off. <laughs> 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 will happen if it goes off without the locket. But knowing Griselle, I don't want to find out. If we could get in there, we could break it from the inside. Prudence knew the lost art of shrinking smaller. Even going mega tiny. Maybe. You stay here while I... I mean, we could try it together. If you all wanted to. Yeah, of course. All in. Wouldn't miss it. Go... tinier? <laughs> Whoa! Super tiny. Thank you, Prudence. Super tiny is so big right now. Prudence was a genius. Let's wreck this thing. We did it! Polly! It wasn't just her. I think we all had a part in this victory. No! Look at her! The mega tiny size isn't holding. We have to get out of here. I can't. I'm stuck. Uh, I gotcha. Samesies. We're on it, Polly. Heave, pull. Ow. <sighs> Thanks again. If it weren't for you, save it for later. I agree. Let's skedaddle. Okay, guys. Hands in. Go big! Uh, should we let the Grandes know that their plan didn't work? I think they'll figure that out on their own when they come out in three months. The pockets are awesome. 
from my ancestor Prudence Pocket all the way to my grandma. Grandma's done all kinds of cool stuff. She worked with NASA, fought for equal rights, and helped protect elephants from poachers in Africa. And while my family roots keep me grounded, they're not the only thing that makes me stronger. I couldn't choose my ancestors, but I'd pick the best friends who lift me up and make every day brighter. Polly, I'm finished. That does it for my portion of the microscript. Thanks, Grandma. For this and for everything you did that made it possible for me to be a locket bearer, too. Now it's your turn. You have your whole future to fill up the rest of that book with your stories and ensure that they're passed on. I can't wait. And now we just wait, Gwen. Soon all of Littleton will be tiny and under my control. How long do we have to wait, Gigi? I'm hungry. Enjoy the moment, Gwen. Have a pickle. <laughs> 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 Ha ha ha!